I was asked to um, come out of retirement and uh, help set up Derby Arena as a mass vaccination site. I was very nervous about this because I didn't really know anything at all about vaccination and I'd already retired from what I thought was the very best job in the NHS. I'd, I'd been a nurse consultant in prostate cancer. However, I have to say that the last eight months have probably been the best of my working life. I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Um, that when, when we opened in the snow in January last year and the uh, elder generation came in and, it, and we were, they were seeing the outside world for the first time since lockdown, it was the most amazing feeling ever. And to have been part of this and part of the camaraderie and part of the fun of the vaccination centre at the same time as doing something so worthwhile has really been the pinnacle of my career and I will retire again for the second time um, feeling even more fulfilled than I did the first. Reflecting of the last sort of 18 months it's been a challenging experience working across multiple services within GP practices, vaccination centres, just reimagining the way we work and not only keeping ourselves safe but also that is for our patients and all of our community. It's been a great time um, over these last eight months um, in pharmacy stores and over at the vaccination centre. It's been incredible collaborating with um, such a great team over on the PCS side, the VC side, and meeting so many new patients. Um, really enjoyed my time here. I've been part of the vaccination programme from the very beginning and it's just been over eight months. It's been a really incredible, really humbling experience. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, we've vaccinated nearly half a million people and it's definitely a journey that I'll hold close forever. Hi, I'm Dr. Victor Jagannathan, and today I'm going to take on the ambitious task of explaining how all vaccines work using the analogy of pubs and mugshots. You see, all vaccines use the same principle, from the two COVID jabs I had a couple of months ago, all the way back to the very first vaccine I had when I was only a couple of months old. With the vaccination rollout in full swing, I was lucky enough to get both of my vaccines. But like many people in this world, I hate needles. I can't explain why, but even looking at a photo of a needle makes me feel uneasy. And if you're afraid or anxious, don't worry, you are in good company. The exact number of people who are anxious around needles is unknown, but we do know that it's around 1 in 10. But that ratio changes depending which age group you're in, so the younger you are, the more likely you are to feel anxiety about it. Luckily, there are useful and effective approaches that can help you manage this and get past the anxiety so it doesn't get in the way of what you want to do in your life and getting your COVID vaccination. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for being so friendly and caring and kind when myself and gazillions of other people turned up, probably some a bit worried, a bit concerned and um, you know, you are one of those centres right around the UK that has enabled us to come out the other side of this pandemic. So thank you for all the hours. Thank you for the preparation. Thank you for the smiles. Thank you for doing such a spectacular job. To all of the teams at the vaccination centres across the whole of Derbyshire, your contribution has been magnificent. I salute you. What an amazing success the COVID vaccination programme has been across Joined Up Care Derbyshire. Huge thanks to everybody from DCHS who's contributed and partners from across the whole of Derby and Derbyshire County.